Oh my gosh, my live videos are back. Look at my, look at my fingernails. Okay, so I didn't put a video caption on this. Happy Tuesday, happy May. Um, so I wanted to share something that's been in my mind the last couple of days and I just feel like somebody might find this valuable. So it's basically when you are going through something difficult. It could be a relationship breakup. It could be losing a job. It could be um, financial troubles. And a lot of times the advice out there. Okay, sorry. I don't know what happened with my video. Um, so a lot of the times the advice out there is like, give it to God or, you know, uh, the people that manifest, they say like, you know, try to think of like the positive outcome, but it's like, how can I think of the positive outcome when my bank account's negative? How can I think about the positive outcome when I'm dealing with a broken heart? How can I, do you know what I'm saying? So I wanted to give some practical advice that I have found that has helped when I go through things and I'm like, how do I stay positive when you focus on like the obvious? Like, it's not that you want to focus on the obvious, but it's like, how do people stay positive when their bank account is negative? How do people stay positive when they're going through a breakup? How do people stay positive when they just lost a job? And so they'll say, they'll simply just say like, well, think about the, you know, future of like what you want, but it's like hard to think about it and then also feel it. So then if you can't feel it, they're like, well, fake it till you make it. And I'm like, that, like, that's not like practical advice because the reality of trying to get your head to match with like what you feel is very difficult. Most of the time, sometimes our head makes the shift before, by the way, I'm, work, I'm in bed right now. It's just, that's just what it is. But your head makes the shift before your emotions catch up. So I just wanted to share some practical advice because I, you know, didn't think I would be really telling my story about like what happened to me years ago. But the more and more I just find the things that I want to share, I just know that it helps someone. So like I said, maybe this will help someone that's going through something difficult. So when I was going through a lot of difficult days when, you know, the bank account was empty or, um, you know, the business ideas weren't working, I went to a lot of those self-help things and they're like, yeah, think about the future. Like, you know, what I'm, I'm like, this doesn't work. This is not helping me. So one thing that really stood out as practical advice is, oh, hey, Brandon. Oh my gosh, I just watched the latest episode of um, <laughs> Halo. I said I wasn't gonna do it, but I did it. Um, so one of the practical advices that I found is that if everything was okay right now, what would you do? And that was very profound for me because usually what happens when we are going through something is we become that thing. We we start to embody it. So if we are struggling with money, we start to act broke, we start to act really small. If we are going through a breakup or a relationship, we start to act like, you know, just we depressed, we sleep a lot, we go, you know what I'm saying? We do the things to support the feelings that we're going through. And then like we said, people will say like, well, focus on like the positive or whatever. And you're like, I can't focus on the positive when I'm physically going through so, so much stuff. So when I took that advice, I was like, wow, this is really practical. So if I thought to myself, if everything was okay, if everything and I had the money in my bank account, if I was over this breakup and I was single ready to mingle, if I just secured a job, what would I be doing? I would, you know, I would still maybe go work out, right? Like even if you're like, you know, you're broken, you can't go to the gym. It's like, if you did have money, you would still go work out because you don't have any worries or you would still go do, you know, something, right? Whatever that thing is that you would still go do instead of the new thing that you're doing, which is feeling depressed, focusing on the issues. Think about what you would be doing if everything really was okay. And obviously like be realistic, you know, like if the bank account is like where, where it's not supposed to be, it's like, you're not gonna be partying, you know, in Vegas or something, but you're also not going to be sitting, lying in your bed, depressed, focusing on like what's not working. So I like, I just got soup. I have soup all over my shirt. Um, so 
think about like the practical thing that you can actually be doing if everything was okay. And I realized I'm like, this is actually the real, the realest advice that I've ever received on how to actually go through something and actually how to go through something with joy. Right. And I just feel like sometimes a lot of the advice out there is just not really practical because it's di very difficult to shift emotions, especially when, you know, you are processing or you're going through a lot of things. But I hope that, you know, this definitely um, helped. It's probably actually my connection because I the, like my live doesn't necessarily really work. But I hope that this helps somebody that may be going through something. And just think about the things that you're doing that don't support you because like, I mean, I don't know how relationships people have been in, but like how many relationships have you survived and you've been okay? How many times has the opportunity has been presented and you've been okay? How many times have you had the bank account get to a negative and you'd be okay? So why do you continue to spend that time suffering, not doing anything, feeling bad? It's probably my internet connection too, by the way, y'all. Um, so how many times do you do that and realize it doesn't really get you anywhere? So then when you finally you know are okay and you finally have the thing that you need you start to behave better you start to behave like you know and support that but i'm like you can do that while you're actually going through your trial not a fake it till you make it right but it's like hey you know what like yeah my bank account's empty and normally i would kind of sit here and i would like worry or something like that but you're like no Instead, like, I'm still going to go for that walk, right? Like, obviously, it's like, maybe we're not going to the gym because we can't afford the gym. But it's like, I'm still going to go for that walk. I'm still going to get up and go out. I'm not going to act as if. Like, I am not going to embody and adopt my situation. And I just, like I said, come here, Yafa. Do you want to say hi? Do you want to say hi? Just say hi. Okay. She, okay. Okay. Sorry. She's taking a nap. She definitely did not like that. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry, baby. Okay. My bad. Mommy is so sorry. Um... But yeah, don't become your situation. Don't adopt your situation. Don't start to act small. Don't start to act brokenhearted. You don't have to fake it till you make it, but just ask yourself, hey, if I was okay, what would I be doing? And then try to do that. So hopefully that helps somebody. Um, like I said, I just realized like, you know, going through a lot of the stuff that I went through and then thinking of like transition that I made, I'm like, wow, I literally went through some things that really would have like made so many people go crazy. But I'm like, I didn't fake it till I make it. I just did not embody that identity. I didn't embody the identity of someone who was going through their situation. And I realized that's what a lot of us do. So hopefully this helps. This was just something that has um, been on my mind. I'm going to save this. I'm going to add a little thing to it and if you have any thoughts on this like let me know hopefully these things are helpful but my challenge to myself is just to stop keeping things in my notes and actually share it with you guys yeah so thanks lynn so yeah hopefully this helps um but that's it guys i need to get back to work <laughs> i'm gonna get back to work and uh happy one tuesday <laughs>